Bonjour, c'est Christine. My YouTube channel is Belle Poupée 61. And I also have a blog. It's Belle Poupée 61 blogspot.ca. And on behalf of Scrap Boutique with me, Boutique on Facebook, which is owned by the Editre. Uh, I am a proud uh, new designer team for her boutique. And for February, we had to work with the paper Love Story from Echo Park. Sorry for the glare here. And I have to admit, I had a hard time. <laughs> I changed my mind a couple of times what I was going to do. So I'm going to show you my first project. I decided to do a layout of my dollars. Uh, my daughters are everything to me. So I decided to show them how I love them. And first of all, this is Erica, my oldest. Uh, she's 27. And this is Sarah, my youngest. Uh, she's 20 years old. And I decided to use uh, the more toned down paper from this um, collection because it's very bright pink and uh, I have a hard time working with this so it was a challenge for me. Let me see if I am in frame. Yes I am. It's a bit glary but I'm going to do my best to tone down a bit so you can see. So I took every time I do a layout I put it behind a, a cardstock or a corrugated uh, cardboard and the kit came with two, uh, they, they came with chipboard uh, pieces, uh, it's wood, sorry, wood veneer, so uh, thank you Pinterest. I look at uh, many um, layouts and one of the layout had the striped paper in it and boom, I did this within an hour. Uh, I found it, it was, everything came to me and at once. So I put Erica here and Sarah there because she's born first. I always say, I wonder if we're small, I say, you love more her, you love more here. <laughs> I said, no, I said, you're my first and you're my last. So there's no difference of love uh, for that. So I put... What I did, I um, ATG the back, the, the background paper on the cardboard and I cracked it a bit open and I put a blue flowers here. Afterwards, I glue down with my ATG gun the square of the, um, the, the stripey paper and behind I put the doily. And after that, I put the pictures with ATG, of course. And I had, since the collection came with dots too, so I had um, washi tape with dots. So I decided to run it around here and here. And I had the um, the black pr um, uh, mesh. So this flower I made with the uh, leopard paper. I follow uh, the tutorial of Leonie from uh, Allen and she has very good very good uh, uh, tutorial for flowers so I decided to make our one so these are some from Kawa store Wildlock Craft and um, this was for my stash stash and this is a fl uh, leaf for the dollar store and of course he did uh, give us button and of course she put in a heart charm uh, over here I decided to use her wonderful black lace. I still have some and I, it's going to be in my uh, good lace box. <laughs> I have about uh, half a yard left and I just love it. So I made another flower here and I just sew it a bit to tone down the, um, the spots. And here, as you can tell, there's a big bling here. Uh, this is from my uh, best friend Tammy that she sent me a rack and she gave me this giant bling and I thought wow What a good idea to put it there These buttons were from my rack and I decided to use the Baker's twine that um, he did send for the for the um, the, uh, the kit uh, she has a wonderful wonderful taste to put a kit together and Everything matches everything goes well together 
So before that, you've seen a picture. I just put a sticker here and my husband said, you need more balance, darker balance here. So I went through our buttons and I saw these wonderful buttons. So I decided to put the black, two black and a red one here. And here I had those uh, swirl from Tim Holtz. And uh, Tammy asked me how I did the, the um, the coloring on this so I glimmer mist it uh, with my own spray that I made and I just use my heat gun so it ran and you know like you know when you push water and everything so this is the effect that do, did that and this morning I got up and I decided to put with the uh, leopard paper some at her steward butterfly because there's butterfly here, so I thought I missed something. So I put two, two butterfly, one flat, and one just, you glue just in the middle, so it pops out like this. And this is the little, little Martha Stewart butterfly punch that I have here. And that's about it. And I decided here to, uh, you are the best. Uh, my daughters are the best in my life. And I love them equally, of course and uh, even if they are very very different uh, they're my life so it uh, was very challenging for me to work with these color uh, I prefer earth tones but uh, I was happy that I succeeded uh, in this matter and here the shimmer I took um, I took uh, the glimmer mist uh, Tatter Angel and it was uh, Tattered Rose and what that I want to ask you all here too, I decided to distress all the edges and it's uh, aged mahogany that I use. I pushed it on my mat here and I put a bit of water so it's really um, make the color stronger. If your pads are a bit dry, uh, sponge it on the mat or a glass and just a push of water and you can with your sponge you can have the color and the effect that you want it so this is it this is one of my project from scrapbooking with me uh, on uh, Facebook go see her she has wonderful kits they sell very fast and it's very very well priced and she has an association right now with uh, Wileka craft and uh, many other uh, company for uh, mesh bling and pearls and it's amazing I, I don't know where she gets her stuff but it's it's worth the, the trip it's worth to become a member she has contest every month and uh, I think every Thursday too she has kind of a game going on and with her blog too so uh, j'espère que vous avez aimé mon vidéo et au revoir